Hey guys, welcome back. So this is going to be the first of a series of videos which will uh, receive its own playlist for the C-3PO 3D printed statue build. Uh, this won't be part of my C-3PO blog update because this will not be a costume. It's just going to be a static statue that I am going what? to 3D print. We've got enough droid parts as it is. Why do we need another project? Why do we need to print a C-3PO? Well, to answer those questions, um, the main reason is that I am going to have new 3D printers. I will have at least two new printers within the next two months, maybe a third new printer. And I want to not only review them, but uh, just do a lot of testing and printing on them. Also, Gives me an excuse to get over here in ZBrush and get my chops back up because ZBrush was a thing that about six or seven years ago I was reasonably good at, but they've added tons of new features and I haven't had much reason to get in there and practice them. And this is a really good project to do that with. So are you going to print these files that we already have on hand? As many of you may think, think I, uh, I don't have 3D files to the full C-3PO costume. I get tons and tons of questions asking me, hey, I need to get files for this, that, and the other for 3PO. I do not have all the files. Um, I have modeled all of the small pieces, all the little greeblies, the pistons, all the little parts. I have 3D modeled all of that stuff. I have modeled uh, arms, da -da -da, a set of hands, which are not quite screen accurate, but they look good on the costume and they're more for wearability. Uh, I've started to model some of the other parts, like I did shorts a while back and a couple other pieces, but nothing's finished. The files I'll be working with are from a set of scans that I got from CG Trader. It's a full scan of a Dawn Post uh, C-3PO statue. Now, this could probably be made into a costume if someone wanted. I am going to clean them up then. uh print it just as is, as a statue. I don't really, I'm not going to try and make another costume. I just want a static thing. Uh, in the future, I may break the parts uh, apart, may break the, the pieces apart. I may break the parts apart. I, <laughs> guys, I don't know what I'm trying to say. I may break the files apart in a way that can be printed as a costume, but that's not gonna be anytime soon. I don't need to do that. I can make the costume parts here out of fiberglass or, but no matter what, I will not be posting these files because they're not really mine to post. Uh, if you want them, uh, link below to where you can get them. They're not free. But I think it's a really, really good deal considering a full body scan of an actor starts about $600 and goes up to $2,000. This is a full scan of the Don Post C-3PO and it's, uh, it's really good. Like I'm going over it now and checking things. So do the files come ready to print or do you have to do anything to them? They came as STL files. You probably need to slice them to fit your printer, but they look like they would be printable as is. However, uh, there would be some spots you would definitely want to clean up or patch uh, after the fact. For me, I'm going to be trying to do as much of the cleanup as possible in digital space before I send it to print. I'm in the process right now of converting this from STL to OBJ format so that I can import them into ZBrush and begin cleanup work and sharpening detail. Let's go over really quickly a couple ways to uh, save out these files from STL and convert them to OBJ, and then we'll bring them into ZBrush and, and check it out. All right, so one way to convert this from an STL file to an OBJ is to open this in the Windows 10, if you have Windows. Uh, Windows 10 has a really good 3D editor. It's called 3D Builder, and it works surprisingly well. I mean, it's free. Now this computer is not a graphics machine. It's not meant for doing 3D work. It's my wife's old writing laptop. So it's quite underpowered for this. Um, you can see we got 3PO's head here. This is open from the OBJ file. Now up at the top you'll see the units of measurement uh, for when you import it. Uh, I have noticed that some of these files have different units of measurement. The leg was in centimeters and the torso was in millimeters, so I haven't gone through all these yet and scaled them. Uh, I'm not sure if I can measure this in this program easily before I import, so uh, I'll have to check that and see. I've been checking them in Fusion 360, but anyway, so what you do here is you select your measurement that you want, hit import model, 
And now the model is imported. It, down here, you'll see a little pop-up. Uh, one or more objects are invalidly defined. Click here to repair. If you click that, it'll go through and repair the file. It does a very good job. To export the OBJ, you come up here to the file button. You hit save as. You hit, uh, click the drop down here, OBJ format. Hit save, and it'll save. It takes a little bit. Doesn't give you many options for the OBJ, whereas some other programs will give you a ton of options for OBJs. This one doesn't give you a lot of options, but it does seem to work. Um, now let's go check out another way to do the same thing. So now we are in Fusion 360, which should be a program that pretty much anybody can use, whether you're on Mac or PC. Uh, this is free from Autodesk, unless you're making a ton of money off of it, then you have to pay for it. But uh, it's a Autodesk's free 3D software. It's very good. I really, really like this program a lot. We start with a, a new document, blank canvas. We go to insert, uh, insert mesh, and we'll get our file list here. I'm going to go with the hand because it's a small file, so it'll load relatively quickly, I think. So there we have a hand. It gives you a chance to adjust its orientation and its scale. Again, this is set to millimeters. I don't know what the, I have to measure this to make sure it's correct, but for the sake of this, we'll skip that step. You can go to your input tier and, uh, you know, change the angle. So if you want it to be, you know, vertical or something, you can go to negative 90, there we go. Now it's standing up and we want to turn it around. So we will turn it 180 on the Z axis. So now when you hit the front, you're looking at the top of the hand. Um, and it's kind of the same thing. This is the insert mesh. These are all the options before it's technically inserted into the file. Let's you set it up. And then when you hit okay, there it is. It is now part of the file and you can rotate it and look at the hand. And to export from here, you will left click on your model, save as OBJ, and same steps. Basically, you'll name it and save it out just like you were doing with um, the other parts that I showed you in the other program. So very easy. And then we will bring it into ZBrush to start making some modifications. So now we are in ZBrush, and I'm sorry for this crappy monitor, my good one died on me a few months ago. I will be getting some new screen recording software so that uh, I don't have to do this goofy videotaping of the monitor thing. Here's where your tools are. We are gonna go to import. Um, and this is in my, I have saved out that hand. So hand, right hand, and we'll draw it into space. Now you'll hit T for edit. That lets you move this around, and there we are in ZBrush, ready to edit this file. Now, one thing I noticed is that what I got with these parts, I only got a right hand. I think they probably assumed you could just mirror it, which would probably be fine. However, C3PO's hands are asymmetrical, so I'm going to find out if they can get a scan of the left hand as well, because I would like to have both. But here's what I'm talking about, about cleanup. Like this look, this would probably be totally fine to print as is, but um, you can see the detail in here. It's a little soft in some areas. Um, by the way, these this is not one of the hands that's on the Don Post suit. This looks like they got one of the recast replica hands and went with that. So anyway, to go into these little areas here to sharpen up some of these edges, you can see how they're sort of soft. I put it on the pinch tool, which you'd go to B, P, and then you'd see it gives you the letter so you can really quickly get to your tool. So it's BPI is your pinch shortcut. BPI, real quick, gets you to the pinch tool. And I go in here and just go through and kind of sharpen all the edges. And this is what I'll be doing to all these files, is just going around and sharpening all the detail. Now you don't need to do this, but I'm going to do this because I want it to look real, real nice. And this way, the edges will be super good. The detail will look nice and sharp. And it's a little extra work, and it actually will probably look better 
by the time I'm done than it would have if uh, I just had like a casting because I can make sure that it's all the little boogers are figured out and it's really really clean. So this is what I'll be doing to the whole suit. So hopefully that's a little bit informative for this very first short episode. I probably won't make another one of these videos until I get the new printers set up, or at least one of them, so I kind of have an understanding of what I need to do to print on said printer. It's an overall cool project, and uh, the end result will be fun. I don't think I'm going to chrome this. I am probably going to make this look like either the Episode 2, what is that, the Attack of the Clones C-3PO, where it's all dirty and weathered, or potentially one of the other alternate droids, like the white one from Hoth, or who knows. I'm going to do something a little different with it, because, you know, why not? If you guys want these files, the link is below where you can find them. They are not free, again, not free, but they are worth every penny, so check them out. Um, and should be a fun build, I think. I think it's going to be entertaining. Are you going to be back for the next one? I don't know if I'll be back. This feels super awkward, to be completely honest with you. Thanks for stopping by. I'll see you kids. Soon.